Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network for our halftime show as we are now joined by Waynesburg Junior Guard Jordan McLeod. Jordan, first off, thanks so much for joining us today. How has it been during your first year with the Yellow Jackets and just being a part of a new team? Um, it's been great, honestly. Uh, all the team, my teammates have been, you know, welcoming, uh, bringing me in, being a transfer, coming to this new city, new school. Um, everything's been good to the coaches, to the staff and the faculty here. That's awesome that you've been able to make that nice, smooth transition. It's always a, probably an unsettling feeling going from one school to the next, but you've done it so well. And I want to get into the school that you initially started your career at and kind of work our way to where you are today. You started playing at Randolph College, a very good university down in the ODAC conference. Why did you want to continue your career there? I mean, what was it about Randolph that drew you to the school and the program? It was mainly the coaches. Um, I wasn't really highly recruited out of high school. I didn't really have many offers, and they were the ones that stuck out to me. They wanted me the most, and, you know, they always say go where you're wanted and not where you want to go. So that's what I thought was best for me, and I took the chance. Well, I know that your first year at Randolph was kind of overshadowed with the COVID virus and, and, and the, you know, all of that that went on with the pandemic. What was that like for you, not only with it being your first year of college basketball, but just your first year in college as a freshman? I mean, just how unusual was that for you to maneuver through? Yeah, usually when you're a freshman, you get a, a little time to adjust. You come in in August and you can meet your guys. But for me, I came in in December. And it was, we got right to, we got straight to practice. So I think I was prepared. I worked hard. Um, I definitely studied film. I studied everybody in the league and I came in confident. So when I came in confident, I knew that I could have had a chance to play right away. Well, play right away is exactly what you did. And you had a great start to your career there at Randolph and carried that all the way through. What part of your game do you feel allowed you to make that big transition from high school to college? Because as I'm sure you know, that's a huge jump from when you go from one level to the next. Yeah, um, being a small guard, you're not going to be, I'm not the biggest out there. I'm not the strongest out there. I'm not the fastest, but I think I can shoot the ball really well. And I shot the ball at a high clip my freshman year and coming in, finding my shot, hunting my shots and and just taking the right ones and taking it confidently. I think that was the best thing for me. Well, I know that you eventually make your way out of Randolph and land where you are today at Waynesburg. What was that like for you in terms of just the decision-making process to transfer? And then how did you find yourself at Waynesburg? Yeah, the the transfer portal, um, it opened up and there was a bunch of teams up north that wanted me. Um, Waynesburg stood out to me. Coach Fasina called me right away and, and told me who's coming in, who he's coming in with a new new group of guys and new talent and he wants to change this program and I wanted to be one of the ones to to come in here and make a difference um to this community and this organization and this program so I came in and I came in and just wanted to win first and foremost but I knew it took more than just winning um coming in all the guys were welcoming and the coaches were welcoming too so coming in just being confident and knowing that I'm coming to a new school but I can still be me at the end of the day. Well, I'm glad you bring up the aspect of going to a new school because, I mean, what was that like for you? I mean, I know that you'd already experienced being kind of the the new guy on campus back at Randolph, but now that you've kind of already established yourself at Randolph, you come to Waynesburg and you're now the new guy again. So what was that like just getting kind of readjusted, reacclimated to that? Yeah, it was different at first. Um, I've never lived up north. <laughs> I've never been in – Pennsylvania at all so coming here it was a little different it was a little adjustment but I knew with my teammates here and with the coaches here they're all welcoming at the end of the day and they all helped me adjust on the right time on the right schedule and it was a right fit for me and I think I made the right decision at the end of the day have you liked adjusting to the cold weather here in Pennsylvania too no I have not I have not I'm still adjusting to it I lived in Florida for six or seven years so coming here in this weather with the wind and and the climate, it's, just, it's crazy. Totally different world from Florida. I will tell you that yes. it is uh, much colder up here in Pennsylvania. But I know things have been heating up for you guys on the court lately. You guys have been on a roll over the last four or five games. What's been clicking for your Waynesburg team over that stretch? And, and how have you guys kind of started to get things rolling? Yeah, I think it's our camaraderie. Um, everybody on the team wants to win. So I keep trying to instill to the guys that, it's not just going to take five of us, the five starters that's out there. It's going to take everybody from the last man on the bench. Um, when we come in, we come in the games, and we know everybody's going to give us our best shot. Everybody wants to beat us. Um, right now we're hot, so 
everybody's going to do everything to try to get that win over top. And right now the conference is so competitive and it could go either way for either teams. And no matter if you're the number second team in the pack or if you're the sixth team in the pack, they're, you're always going to get a great game every night. So I think coming here was was great. Well, it seems that you've definitely made the great decision to come to Waynesburg, and we appreciate you taking a little time today on the Halftime Show, Jordan. But before we let you run, I want to hear from you. You mentioned how competitive the conference is, and right now you guys are right in the middle of things, fourth place in the standings. The top six teams make it. So how can your team keep things rolling, keep things going forward, and make that final six spot at the end of the season? Yeah, I think it comes down to um, our defense. I think our defense is one of our biggest strengths. Um, I know at the end of the day, we have guys on our team that's going to hit shots. We're going to make shots. And I think it comes down to getting defensive stops. I think our last game we played, we played, we were down 10 with four or five minutes left and we had three big stops and we came back right away. So it definitely comes down to the defensive end and our coach instills that into us every each and every day and during practice when we're, when we're out there on the floor. So we know what, what's, what's expected of us. Well, we definitely know that you guys have been playing well lately, and we're excited to see how the rest of the season goes for you. Jordan, again, thanks so much for stopping by, and good luck this season. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Waynesburg junior guard Jordan McLeod. Don't go anywhere, as we will have more of today's game when we return right here on the PAC Sports Network.